long enough, curly enough that there it is. Growing a beard. There's all kinds of questions about this, all kinds of stuff out there. I'm gonna share with you what has been the most helpful for me in growing a beard. I, I've had a beard for, geez, 10 years now in some form or fashion. I'll link to a video that talks about why I, uh, why I grew a beard. Uh, but here are my tips, the keys to growing a beard. The first one is let it grow. Seriously, don't touch it, don't mess with it, just let it grow. One of the problems so many guys have with trying to grow a beard and not being able to is they mess with it all the time. You grow it for like three or four days and then you start to trim it up and hack into it and all that. Don't do it, seriously. Put this in a, a lock box where you don't have the key to it. Don't mess with scissors, don't, don't do any of that. Let it grow for at least a month um, if not two months is even better. Second tip, have a goal. Know what you want. Like, do you want just a, a, a little bit of stubble? That's fine, man, have, have that goal. It's gonna determine how you let it grow from the first step, but know what you wanna do. Do you wanna have a long mustache? Do you wanna have a short kind of trim mustache? Do you wanna have a full beard? Do you wanna have a squared off beard or do you want more of like the, the spade shape in your beard? So if your goal is to have a year, to grow it out for a year, or your goal is to have a six month beard, don't be trimming it every other day. Like you cannot get this length by trimming it all the time. Now you can do maintenance trims and take care of the flyaways, but don't be trimming it all the time. Just know what your goal is. Long beard, short beard, medium sized beard, whatever it is, know your goal. Third tip, mind your neckline and your cheek line, okay? When you're growing it out from the first tip, don't trim your neckline. Like don't do it, fight that temptation. You may think, man, it's gonna look so much better if I just trim the neckline. Don't do it because what ends up happening so much is when you've got that short beard, most guys trim it way too high way too high, they trim it like along with their cheekbone. Your beard's not really supposed to follow your, your cheekbone. If you, if you wanna grow out a longer beard, it needs to kind of have a zip code of its own, right? If you are gonna trim your neckline, which, which you should, I would say not within the first month though, just let it grow. What you wanna do when you have a little bit shorter beard, is uh, it's gonna be weird because I have to pull it up. You wanna put your middle finger on your Adam's apple and then your other finger above that, and then that becomes your line. You trim right above that and kind of go up, but that's how you trim. Two fingers, one right on your Adam's apple, one above, that's how you trim your neckline. Now, as your beard starts to grow, if you're going for a long beard, as it's growing longer and longer, stop trimming your neckline. Because the, the problem, like I'll talk with a lot of guys who are like, man, I, my beard doesn't look full, I don't know what to do, and I always tell them, show me your neckline, right? And you, they'll like lift up their neck and they've got it way up here. Letting your neckline grow out as your beard grows, so like as these chinny, chin, chin hair, whatever they are, grow down, letting your neckline grow back here is gonna fill it in and make it look fuller, right? So you gotta let your neckline grow. Cheek line, it kind of depends on you. Like I, I, I don't like a super sharp line up here. Um, it makes, I don't know, for some, I just feel like it makes it look fake, right? So I don't want a super, super sharp line, but I have scraggly hairs that will grow way up here. So I'll just kind of cut those, shave those. That's the only place that I use a razor, by the way. The only place is on the cheek line sometimes, and I use a safety razor, not those crazy Gillette 12 mock, or whatever they are, razors that cost a ton. I just have a little safety razor, do that, or to be honest, I'll just use this thing and go on the line. That's what I do. So mind your neckline, mind your cheek line. That's the other. Um, with that, I'll also say, man, just you gotta figure out like what you want the, the line of your beard to look like. Some people want a straight down, uh, like super straight line. Again, I, I, I think it looks a little fake to be, to be honest, but if you like it, man, go with it. Um, some people let it grow way back here and then they'll have hairs growing like up in their ears. So just kinda, what, what I like to do is just trim down here and then kinda down like this, right? Just follow the, the line. Fourth, diet, exercise, and drink a crap ton of water, okay? 
Drink a ton of water because that's just gonna help. There's just so many health benefits. Drink a bunch of water. When you wake up in the morning, drink like 32 ounces of water. That's the first thing I do. Every morning I wake up, 32 ounces of water. It's a ton, force hydration. There's so many health benefits to it though, and it will help your hair. It's gonna help your overall health, but it will help your hair health also. So just drink a ton of water. Then diet and exercise. Whatever diet that is, just pay attention to what you're eating. Especially if you're over 30, man. Your metabolism shrinks like crazy. But if you're just putting a ton of crap into your body, um, it's going to show in like the health of your hair and the health of your beard. So just whatever kind of diet works for you, I'll share a link to the one that I do that I've found that works for me. I've dropped 27 pounds over the past few months doing it. Months doing it, and I have noticed my hair in my beard is like womanly as that sounds is just it's healthier right so um, that is a big one exercise is another one and here's what here's what I'd recommend lift weights do something strength related um, lift weights lift heavy things whatever that is the reason is that will help increase muscle mass which is good it's going to help increase testosterone which is also going to help with healthy beard growth so lift weights whatever that looks like get in the gym, do strength stuff at home, get strong. Fifth tip, take your vitamins. Take your vitamins, it's gonna help so much with beard growth. Now, let me say, don't buy the like beard complex vitamins. It's such a rip off, man. You can get the exact same thing much cheaper. So don't, I know there are beard companies, other people who are like, spray this on your beard, it's gonna grow like a Chia Pet or like, uh, buy these vitamins, we're guaranteeing beard growth. Most of what's in them, you can get really cheap. There's two things that I would recommend taking. The first is a good multivitamin. I take this here. Uh, it's now Nutrition Adam Superior Men's Multi. That's a really long name. This is what I take. Make sure whatever you take, just take a good multivitamin. Make sure it's got B vitamins in it. That's gonna help you uh, in there. I take vitamin D also. Uh, I just don't get enough time in the sun, so vitamin D is gonna help. And then biotin. Um, I take a capsule, a 10, 000, or no, a 10 milligram capsule of biotin every day. Uh, that helps. I'll link a video where I talked about biotin and beard growth. Make sure you're taking your vitamins. Sixth tip, use the right tools. Okay, here's what I mean by that. These cheapo black plastic combs. I see so many people like ch -ch -ch -ch. This is gonna destroy your beard, okay? Even if your beard's really short, don't use these cheap plastic things. They get caught in the hair, they'll pull the hairs, you get split ends like crazy. Don't use those things. Toss them out, right? What you need is a good Kent comb. That's what this is, Kent comb. Yep, good Kent comb. It's not gonna tug on the beard, but as your beard grows longer, you can't use this anymore either, okay? And again, man, this will give you split ends. It will, don't use this, even the wide tooth part of it. If I were to use this on my beard, my beard is long enough, curly enough, that, there it is. That thing is gonna cause split ends and things like that. So here's what I'd recommend. Get a boar's bristle, boar's, I don't know what it is. Badger hair, boar's, br <laughs> I'll link it in the description. Um, one of these brushes, this thing is like eight or nine bucks. Get a boar's hair, I think that's what it's called, or badger's hair brush. This will help. It's not going to tug enough, a ton, but it, as your beard grows out, don't be yanking on it with this thing because this could potentially cause split ends also, which is just going to make your beard look all weird. I never thought that I'd be talking about split ends, to be honest, but um, get one of these. It's helpful. As your hair grows longer, you've got two other options. This like girl's hairbrush, I don't know what it is. It works great for my beard. It doesn't tug, it doesn't pull. I use this thing like crazy and apparently so does my wife because there's one of her hairs. Get one of these. Um, I'll link to whatever this is in the description. This is super helpful. The other is you can get a wide tooth wood. Um, wood is important here because it's not gonna get all staticky, like it's not gonna, have a bunch of static in your beard like combs and others could do. Um, and it's not gonna pull on it too much. So you just get this, this is like, when you get past five or six months of growth or whatever, four to five inches of growth, this becomes helpful, you can just kind of brush it out. I use this as I trim my beard. I kind of blow it out, brush it, whatever that is. Brush it out like that. 
Then use a good pair of scissors. It's another that's key when you get to the point where you're starting to trim your beard after a month or two, get a good pair of scissors and just trim the flyaways like that. I would not recommend using one of these for maintenance trims. I know a lot of people who do do like this. Here's the problem, unless you have an incredible pair of clippers, so like unless you're willing to spend 50 to 75 bucks on clippers, and I know people are gonna argue with this. I used to cut my hair with a 30, 20 to $30 pair of wall clippers. Here's what I've found though, unless you are like genetically gifted with just an incredible, incredibly thick beard, this thing is gonna mangle your hair because what it does is as the blades cross each other, it kind of chews on your hair. What that's gonna do is cause, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> hair just went everywhere. What that's gonna do is cause a bunch of like uh, split ends, things like that. So that's a big deal. Use the right tools. Um, part of the right tools, Beard balm, beard oil. This is oil that uh, my wife makes for me. I put oil in my beard right after I go to the shower every morning, normally before bed. You gotta make sure it gets like way down into, I'm not gonna put it young because I already have a bunch on. You gotta make sure you get your hands like way down into, because the beard oil is for your skin. It hydrates your skin, keeps your hair and your skin healthy. You need that. As your beard grows longer, I would recommend some sort of beard brand. No, that's a company. They sell great products. Uh, beard Balm is what I'd recommend. Get Beard Balm. That's gonna help. As it gets longer, just keep it kind of maintained, things like that. All right, last tip, stick with it, man. It takes patience. It takes intestinal fortitude. Like just stick with your beard growth. You're gonna have days. I have so many days where I'm like, I'm done, I wanna cut it off, it's too hot or whatever. You're gonna be trimming it and be like, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna cut it off because it looks like crap. You're gonna have bad beard days. Do not trim your beard on bad beard days, okay? You know those days. Some days you wake up and you you know, you know do your care, whatever, and you're like, dag, it's looking good, I really like it. Some days you wake up and you're like, this thing sucks, why did I ever grow a beard? I look awful don't trim it on those days whatever you got to do go hide your scissors throw them away give them to somebody do not trim your I have had a lot of bad experiences with I've had a bad beard day and just hacked into it cut it off like crazy so just stick with it it takes time it takes discipline uh, it's a good habit because it'll teach you patience. Hope that was helpful. Let me know if there are any other things that, uh, videos I can do that would be helpful. I'd love to hear any other tips you have. I know I missed some uh, for sure. Uh, let me know any other thoughts or tips that you have. You can drop them in the comments. As always, man, like, comment, subscribe, share if it's helpful, and we will see you again soon in another video.